Liverpool delivered a ruthless performance to dismantle Manchester United 3-0 at Anfield. The match was a showcase of Liverpool's attacking prowess and defensive solidity, leaving Manchester United with no answers. Two first-half goals from Luis Diaz set the tone for the match. His first goal came from a well-timed run and a clinical finish, while his second was a testament to his positioning and composure in front of goal. A second-half strike from Mohamed Salah sealed a comfortable victory for Jurgen Klopp's side. Salah's goal was a moment of individual brilliance as he weaved through the United defence before slotting the ball past the goalkeeper. The result leaves Manchester United reeling, with serious questions raised about their title credentials. The defeat not only dents their confidence, but also exposes the gaps in their strategy and execution. The atmosphere at Anfield was electric, with the home crowd roaring their team on from the first whistle to the last. The fans' unwavering support created an intimidating environment for the visitors, amplifying Liverpool's dominance on the pitch. The Red Devils, on the other hand, looked overwhelmed by the occasion, struggling to cope with Liverpool's intensity and relentless pressing. Their midfield was overrun and their defence was constantly under pressure, leading to numerous mistakes and missed opportunities. The defeat will be a bitter pill to swallow for Eric Ten Hag and his men, who arrived at Anfield with hopes of making a statement. Instead, they were left to ponder what went wrong and how they can bounce back from such a humbling experience. Instead, they were handed a harsh lesson in Premier League football. The loss serves as a stark reminder of the challenges that lie ahead for Manchester United if they are to compete at the highest level. They will need to regroup, reassess their tactics and find a way to regain their form and confidence in the coming matches. The home side started brightly, pressing high and forcing Manchester United into mistakes. From the very first whistle, Liverpool's intent was clear. They were relentless, closing down every United player, giving them no time to settle on the ball. The pressure was immense, and it was only a matter of time before the cracks began to show in the United defence. Liverpool's early dominance paid off in the 20th minute when Luis Diaz found the back of the net after a well-worked team move. The build-up play was exquisite, with quick, precise passes that left the United defence chasing shadows. Diaz's finish was clinical, a testament to his sharpness and composure in front of goal. The goal was initially ruled out for offside, but VAR intervened to overturn the decision, much to the delight of the home crowd. The tension in the stadium was palpable as the referee consulted the VAR monitor. When the decision was finally reversed, Anfield erupted in joy, the fans' cheers echoing around the ground. Manchester United struggled to gain a foothold in the game, with their midfield overrun and their attack blunted by Liverpool's well-organised defence. Every time United tried to mount an attack, they were met with a wall of red shirts. Liverpool's midfield trio were particularly impressive, winning tackles, intercepting passes and dictating the tempo of the game. Just before half-time, Liverpool doubled their lead, and again it was Diaz who found the back of the net. This time, the goal came from a swift counter-attack. Liverpool broke with pace, catching United off guard. The ball was played to Diaz, who made no mistake with his finish. The Colombian winger cut inside from the left flank and unleashed an unstoppable shot that flew past Andre Onana in the United goal. It was a moment of individual brilliance, showcasing Diaz's skill and confidence. The shot was hit with such power and precision that Onana had no chance of saving it. The Liverpool fans were in raptures, sensing that a memorable victory was on the cards. Liverpool's second goal just before half-time was a hammer blow for Manchester United, effectively ending the contest before the break. The goal epitomised Liverpool's performance on the day clinical, ruthless and taking full advantage of their opponent's mistakes. Diaz's brace was just reward for his tireless work rate and attacking threat throughout the first half. The Egyptian forward was a constant menace to the Manchester United defence, using his pace and trickery to create havoc down the flanks. Liverpool's midfield trio of Fabinho, Jordan Henderson and Harvey Elliott controlled the tempo of the game, dictating play and stifling any attempts by Manchester United to build any meaningful attacks. Manchester United emerged from the break with renewed purpose, making a couple of substitutions in an attempt to change the course of the game. 
For a brief period, it seemed like a comeback might be on the cards. Marcus Rashford, who had been largely anonymous in the first half, started to see more of the ball and caused a few problems for the Liverpool defence with his pace and direct running. However, any hopes of a United revival were quickly extinguished when Mohamed Salah added Liverpool's third goal midway through the second half. The Egyptian forward latched onto a through ball from Trent Alexander-Arnold and calmly slotted the ball past Onana. Section 5 Standout Performers, A Tale of Two Sides For Liverpool, Luis Diaz was the standout performer, tormenting the United defence with his pace, trickery and clinical finishing. His two goals were the difference between the two sides in the first half, and he was a constant threat throughout the match. Mohamed Salah also delivered a captain's performance, leading by example with his goal and overall contribution to Liverpool's attacking play. For Manchester United, it was a day to forget for almost every player who stepped onto the Anfield turf. Bruno Fernandes struggled to exert his usual influence on the game, while Jadon Sancho was largely anonymous before being substituted at half-time. Section 6. Tactical Tweaks, Searching for Answers, Eric Ten Hag made a number of changes throughout the match, in an attempt to find a way back into the game, but to no avail. The introduction of Christian Eriksen at halftime for the ineffective Sancho failed to provide the creative spark that United desperately needed. Similarly, the substitution of Anthony Marshall for the ineffective Anthony failed to alter the course of the game. Liverpool, on the other hand, looked comfortable throughout, with Jurgen Klopp able to introduce fresh legs in the second half without disrupting his team's rhythm. The substitutions allowed Liverpool to maintain their intensity and see out the game with relative ease. Section 7 The Aftermath – A Reality Check for United The recent match at Anfield has left Manchester United fans and players alike in a state of dismay. The team, which had high hopes for the season, now faces a harsh reality check. The defeat at Anfield is a major setback for Manchester United and their ambitions this season. This loss not only affects their position in the league, but also their morale and confidence moving forward. The players, who had been riding a wave of optimism, now find themselves questioning their form and strategy. It serves as a stark reminder of the golfing class that still exists between them and the Premier League's elite. Despite significant investments in the squad, the gap remains evident. The match highlighted the areas where United still need to improve if they are to compete at the highest level. The manner of the defeat will be particularly concerning for Ten Hag, who will need to pick his players up ahead of a crucial run of fixtures. The coach now faces the challenge of rebuilding the team's confidence and addressing the tactical shortcomings that were exposed during the match. Training sessions in the coming weeks will be crucial as Ten Hag works to instill resilience and a winning mentality in his squad. For Liverpool, the victory is a statement of intent, demonstrating their title credentials and sending a message to their rivals that they mean business this season. The win not only boosts their position in the league, but also reinforces their reputation as one of the top teams in Europe. The players' celebrations were a testament to their unity and determination to succeed. The win sees them maintain their perfect start to the season and move to the top of the Premier League table. Liverpool's performance was a masterclass in teamwork and strategy, showcasing their ability to dominate even the toughest opponents. As they continue their campaign, the team will be looking to build on this momentum and secure more victories in their quest for the title. Section 8. Looking ahead, a chance for redemption. Manchester United will be looking to bounce back quickly from this defeat, but they face a tough task in their next Premier League fixture against Tottenham Hotspur at Old Trafford. Ten Hag will need to lift his players' morale and find a way to shore up his defence, which looked worryingly vulnerable against Liverpool's potent attack. Liverpool, meanwhile, will be full of confidence as they prepare to face Aston Villa at Anfield in their next Premier League fixture. With their attacking trio of Salah, Diaz and Darwin Nunez firing on all cylinders, Liverpool will be confident of maintaining their winning start to the season.